Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you this very popular dish known as Sioba or Roaster Pork. So I'm just going to take one piece out and try it. <laughs> Wonderful. Very to see. Very, very good. Ingredients are very simple. I have with me 2 kilograms of pork belly. Tell the butcher that you want to make roast pork so they'll give you a suitable cut. I have with me over here also 3 cubes of this fermented bean curd. 1 tablespoon of wu xiang fen or 5 spice powder. Half a tablespoon of uh, salt. 2 tablespoons of this rice wine. 1 tablespoon of uh, coarse salt. And half a tablespoon of baking powder. First, we've got to poke hole all over the skin first so that you'll puff up very easily. Now, there's some recipe they say that um, you don't have to do the I mean, poking of the skin and stuff like that, but I really like to do it. I find that it actually puff up beautifully and it's become uh, it's very puffy and very light and crispy. Eh? If you don't have this at home, it's fine also. You can actually tie a few skewers around and start poking them or you can use a knife and do it also. This is how I do it. Just tap it hard. So I'm going to do this several times over the skin. You can see multiple holes on the skin already. This will help the skin puff up and it will become very very crispy. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to mix the marinade and we marinate the meat. We find salt, the preserved bean curd or fermented bean curd, fine spice powder, and of course the rice wine. Now the rice wine is to reduce the porkiness of this uh, piece of meat or pork that we have over there. Okay, so it will taste really really good. Now depending on how salty you want your um, roast pork to be either adding more salt or less salt. It's really up to the personal individual taste. So mix them up well and we apply this on the underside of the pork. Now I'm going to do a light score so the marinade will go into the meat. Okay, something like this will be fine. So just uh, pour the marinade over the pork. Okay, be careful not to actually um, spread it onto the skin because we don't want the skin to be um, dry. Just use your hand and rub the marinade in gently okay, into all these cracks also. So gently massage all the marinade into the pork. This will form the base of the taste of the pork. So okay, I'm satisfied with this uh, marinade over here. It is cover all the the bottom portion of this uh, pork. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to season the skin. So onto the skin, I'll put the baking powder on first. This will absorb a lot of moisture out from the skin. You can just use it with your spoon, the back of a spoon, or if you, your hands are dry enough, you can actually rub them okay, all over the skin. It's just like uh, applying baby powder actually. Okay, so this will help actually to puff up the skin and absorb all the moisture. And it'll puff up very very nicely and it'll be super super crispy. So if you are happy with this now, we'll add in the salt. I don't recommend putting everything in. Uh, I'll just do half first and then we'll see how it goes. Alright, just rub them liberally around the skin. Okay, also to draw more moisture out also. This step is very important because if your skin is wet, or it's almost impossible to have a crispy crackling skin. So I'm gonna add some of the salt in. Now don't be afraid you see too much salt right now because tomorrow um, before we actually oven bake this we will actually use a uh, paper towel of moisture and wrap up wrap the skin up again so most of the salt will actually get up over there right now it's, there's a lot of water moisture already coming up from the skin so this is what we want uh, we'll leave this in the fridge uncovered remember uncovered because we want the skin to be dry and we want to use the cold air from the fridge inside there to actually uh, firm up the skin and to dry the skin also now this piece of uh, pork has been in the fridge overnight already. So I've touched the skin, it's pretty dry right now. What I'm doing now is actually just uh, rubbing off the excess uh, moisture if there is any. And of course the excess salt and excess powder that's on the skin. Now prepare a piece of aluminum foil. I'm just going to put this pork right on the foil. Wipe your hand clean first. And do a wrap up on the... Because we want the need to stay uh, to have the moisture to have the juice inside there so I, I want it to be juicy that's the reason why I'm doing this now 
Now when you take out the pork before you actually roast them, please take it out at least half an hour prior to you roasting them because uh, we don't want the inside of the pork to be super cold when you put it in, inside the oven so that it won't be cooked. Okay. So when you've done this, just uh, sort of take down by the corner a little bit. And pull it down. Until the part where the skin are exposed. So after doing this, prepare some vinegar and just uh, wipe it on the skin. It is white vinegar, artificial vinegar. You can use uh, rice vinegar, any vinegar, anything with a sour base. This will help crisp the skin and create the blistering. Okay, anything that's neutral in color because you don't want the skin to, to have to be black color in case you're, you're thinking of using uh, black vinegar. Now the next step might seem a little bit um, salty because I'm going to cover this and create a base of salt on top. Okay, this is also to draw draw out the extra moisture from the skin when we do the first round of uh, baking or roasting. I'm not going to rub it into the skin itself, so don't worry, it will not become too salty. I'm just going to make a thin layer on top like this. Okay, later we're just going to take out this uh, this so-called um, skin of a uh, salt. Okay, this to drop the moisture. Now you want the skin to be crispy and puffy, not crispy and hard type. Huh? So by doing all this step, actually the skin will be very loosened and very crispy and puffy and it will be light. Okay, this is what we want in a good piece of our roast pork. Now, heat up the oven to 180 degrees and we are going to put this in for one hour at 180 initially. You just heat up the oven. If you have a oven temp, uh, thermometer, then just measure it that it stays at 180. If not, you can just uh, heat it up for approximately about 20 minutes or so just to make sure that the temperature is just right. Okay, so this is how it looks like. You don't have to rub it in hard, just uh, tap it a little bit. Make sure it stay in place and off to the oven we go. Put it in the middle rack. Okay, and we time it to 1 hour which is 60 minutes at 180. So 1 hour is up already. I'll be taking this up first. I'm just going to remove the sauce first, salt crust. Gently just uh, remove it. Now after clearing the salt crust, take out the aluminum foil. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, vinegar, white vinegar, and then we're going to baste the skin. This will create the blistering. Now another method to do, after this basting itself, if the crackling is not enough, what we'll do is we'll just uh, coat those that's not uh, blistering up with uh, some oil and pick them again. Make sure you cover every single part of the skin. And into the oven it will go. This time you will set at two, around 220 to 230 around there for another 20 minutes. But please um, do watch over it, okay? Because we uh, don't want it to be too burnt or so. Okay, so after you have liberally done it, let's just put this into the oven now. So I'm going to put this towards the top part itself because that's where the heat will come from. And this will actually make the blistering look better. So the roast pot is done. I've roasted this at 180 for one hour, followed by vinegar on top for another 20 minutes at 240, and then another 20 minutes with oil on top at the same temperature at 240. Now listen to the sound. Now this will be extremely crispy. So I'm going to let this rest for approximately about half an hour before I go and cut them because I want all the juice to be packed back inside there. Now the pot has been resting for approximately about 20-25 minutes. I'm just going to cut a small portion. Can you hear the sound? I'm just going to trim this later. So I'm just going to take one piece out and try it. Wonderful. Very to see. Very, very good. If you can see my face right now, I'm really, really smiling. Very nice. And ladies and gentlemen, 
this is how we do our roaster pork i hope you like our video do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching